Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. My name is Sergio Trujillo and I am so excited to be streaming with the La Jolla Playhouse. It is one of my favorite places to work and create. Now, I would imagine that by now you're going getting a little stir crazy as we're all sharing sheltering in place and trying to take care of each other. So I had an idea to teach you some of the moves from one of the most beloved musicals, Jersey Boys, which I choreographed. Now, Jersey Boys premiered at the La Jolla Playhouse in 2004. Can you believe it's been 15 years? Now, it's been remarkable to see the effect that Jersey Boys has had on people across the globe. You have seen audiences jump to their feet, dance like teenagers, and lose themselves in the show. So I'm going to teach you some of the choreography from the finale of Jersey Boys to one of the most beloved songs and one of the most fielded songs, Oh What a Night. And by the time I'm done with you, you'll be as smooth and as sexy as the original Four Seasons. Stay tuned because right after the dance lesson, I'll be back to answer some questions along with some amazing guests. My social choreographer, Danny Austin, who's all the way in Canada, in Edmonton, and two very, very talented ex-Jersey boys, Eric Bergen and Jared Spector. Now, as you know, theaters across America, all the way from San Diego to New York City, are facing the greatest challenges in our country's history. Now, and if you have enjoyed the shows at the La Jolla Playhouse and are in a position to give, you'll see a text scrolling below with the information on where you can donate. And on behalf of the La Jolla Playhouse, we are so grateful for your invaluable support. Now, are you ready to dance? Put on your dance shoes and let's boogie. All right, we're gonna to start to the right and we're gonna do heel twists. Let's do it together and you can add a clap to it. Ready, here we go, five, six, Seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, clap, and one, and two, and three, clap, heel twist, and twist, and twist, clap, and twist, and twist, and twist, yeah, we're only repeat that three times, so, and from here, you're going to do four jumps, yeah, like skipping ropes, so you're going to do, and, a one, two, three, four, yeah, now putting those two steps together is, you're going to go five, Six, seven, eight. Our one, two, three, four. Our one, two, three, four. Our one, two, three, four. And you know you jump. Our five, six, seven, eight. You getting the hang of that? Good. We're gonna add another step for you, yeah? So now we're gonna call the pump, pump, triple pump step. Yeah? Say it with me. Pump, pump, triple pump step. So you're gonna to go to the right first, and you're gonna step with the with the uh, left foot back, and you're gonna do and pump, pump, one, two, three. And you repeat it again to the other side. And one, two, one, two, three. Now this is what it looks like. Follow me this way, okay? So you're gonna to go to the right, and I'll one, two, three. Four and pump, pump, pump. Again, to the left. And one, two, one, two, three. Now we repeat that step four times, yeah? And you can add a clap to it. In order to do all of the choreography, you need to grab your favorite jacket or your favorite jean jacket or your favorite shirt and do the choreography, yeah? So now we're gonna do it with the music. Ready? Here we go. And. and Six, seven, eight, eight. Six, a rolling ball of thunder. Spinning my head around. Spinning my body under. Do 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 that was a blast. You got this down? All right, it's hard to imagine what this number really looks like with just me. So I'm gonna call in a few friends to give you an idea what the number really looks like. So I've invited some of our alumni of our Jersey Boys family from around the world. Some of them have played Frankie Valley, Bob Gaudio, Nick Massey, and Tommy DeVito in our companies in England, South Africa, Australia, the Netherlands, and Singapore. And some of them here at home in the United States, on Broadway, on tour, and presently in our off-Broadway company. So, enjoy. 
Hey guys, this is John Lloyd Young, original Broadway cast, Frankie Valley. You ready for some hot moves? Hey, I'm Eric Bergen from New York, New York. My name's Grant Armero, and I'm from South Africa. Hi, my name is Dieter. Hi, I'm Steven Ashfield. Hi, my name is Nicholas Dramar. Hey, I'm Ryan Gonzalez. Hi, my name is Aaron DeJesus. Hi, I'm Jonathan Cable. Hey guys, what's up? I'm CJ Polakowski. Hello, my name is John Rochette. Hey there, Michael Amenda coming to you from my patio here in Burbank, California. I uh, just want to say a huge thank you and a shout out to La Jolla Playhouse for birthing this uh, incredible juggernaut of a show, Jersey Boys, so many years ago. Isn't that great? I hope you uh, I hope you got off your couch there, Gary. From uh, I'm not sure where you're from, but so listen. Um, I haven't I haven't danced like that in a while. So uh, as a matter of fact, it's been a few years since I, I did some of the Jersey Boys choreography. So I had to call upon my associate choreographer, Danny Austin, who is the person who takes care of all the companies and really is the gatekeeper. And he's all the way in Edmonton. Hi, Danny. Hi, sir. Hi, everybody. Hey, hey. And also, so, you know, when we were doing this, I, I called Danny and I just said, you know, Danny, we need to, uh, we need to call upon some of our, our ex Jersey boys from all over the world. And uh, he, you know, it was amazing. I haven't seen the video. This is the first time I've seen it. So it's just so great of, you know, to see the guys all together doing the choreography, but more important, you know, to, to that, you know, the, unfortunately the, you know, something like this, um, but has, you know, that it has brought us all together. Uh, and 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 unified us and, and connected us in such a beautiful way. But so I also want to bring two uh, very very talented uh, ex Jersey boys uh, alumni of ours. One of them is a Tony Award nominee, Jared Spector. Um, joining hey us, guys. Eric Eric Bergen. Hello, boys. Hi. There he is. Hey. 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 Good to see you guys. So great Good to see you. See you. So where do where do I uh, where do I find everyone? I haven't seen you guys in a while, and here we are on on, on Facebook Live. So Eric, where, uh, Eric, where are you right now? I'm here in Manhattan. I'm here in okay. uh, here in my place in, in Harlem. In Harlem, okay. And you've been you've been doing okay. I've been doing okay. I've been doing okay. I've been uh, staying busy here at home, and and um, uh, you know just just figuring it all out and uh, trying to make it work. I I, uh, I I shaved for this event. I'm sorry that Jared didn't get the memo <laughs> to do that for this but you know he's clearly on vacation jared where are you i'm uh, i escaped harlem uh we came up to a friend my wife and i came up to our friend's place uh for a two-day getaway uh that was seven and one half weeks ago we never left so we've essentially moved uh into the middle of connecticut <laughs> and so, i yeah i don't have a job so you know i don't shave right now that's that's why we're doing this we are unemployed. yeah that's right and uh, uh, we're still we're still following the rules of Sergio and Danny after all these that's years. That's right. That's yeah. right. I still yeah. I still listen to whatever Sergio and Danny tell me. Yeah. Well, listen, guys. So you know, I, I just want to remind people that Jersey Boys started at the La Jolla Playhouse 15 years ago, and in La Jolla Playhouse is is one of my favorite places to work because. You know, it's a, it's a place where you can really create, and, and they have nurtured so many incredible Tony Award winning shows. You know, one of my favorites, Memphis, started there, and, you know, they continue to just really, really develop really important uh, theater for, for in our country and for the world. So if it wasn't for La Jolla Playhouse, I would have never met you guys. So uh, thank you, La Jolla Playhouse. Thank you, La Jolla. Uh, thank so, you, La Jolla. Uh, we want to we wanna, we wanna, we wanna ask some questions because that's what we're here. So, 
Let me put on my glasses because uh, I can't see. Oh, Sergio, <laughs> glasses. Look at you. Wow. So what was the most difficult choreography for the actors to learn? Go ahead, boys. You take it. Eric, Jared? Um, um, well, okay. I mean, I think for me it was uh, begging only because I wasn't prepared to do jazz splits because I'd never seen the real Frankie Valley do jazz splits. So coming into the show, I wasn't prepared for that kind of choreography. So yeah, I think that, I think of all of them, I mean, you know, in all, all seriousness, I mean, these guys are such wonderful teachers. And so they're able to break everything down step by step, no, you know, regardless of your level of dance, but then there are just some things you just have to work on, like the flexibility to be able to get done into a split. So I think for me, that took the most time. So if I were asked you to uh, do the splits right now, could you do that for me, Jared? You know, Probably not, but like it would only take me a few days. Like I've made some flexibility. I could do it once. Do it once. Be, it's it's what getting about, back up. What, what about you, Dave? What about you, Eric? Um, I, you know, I don't know if it was the dancing that was any that was ever really like hard. Hard. I mean, you might disagree with me that it. I I, I didn't really get to it in the beginning, but I think it was more because my character was always moving the the farfisa piano organ around was that it wasn't just dancing, but it was like maneuvering a piece of furniture as uh, as ography and always having to hit the marks because if I didn't, it would fall into a, a trap door in the middle of the stage. That was, the, that was. He, and that's always dangerous. So that leads us to my next question. Jamil Thompson, did any, she's asking, did anyone get hurt while they were doing the choreography? Now, Danny, you would know, <laughs> Danny might know that because Danny's been all over the world, so. Danny, tell us what, what's well. What's... Actually, I the the best person to answer that question would be Eric Bergen. <laughs> yeah, I still, yes. I mean, Eric Bergen got us through an earthquake. We got through some open <laughs> open trap doors um, that weren't going to close. So yeah, oh, okay. the uh, well, the um, thank you for bringing up the earthquake. I was hoping that someone would, um, even though that had nothing to do with the question. Um, I I got hurt, yeah, because I, I I opened the, I was dancing on the trap door at the end of um, uh, stay going into Opus, and the trap door opened like a millisecond too early, and I had giant size thirteen feet, and uh, Chris Colley Jones was already off the trap. I was still on it, and the trap opened, and I went. Dush. So there's that. Yeah. So for those of you wow. who don't know what the trap is, so these are these are holes that open in on stage, and sometimes you know it's hard to see because the lighting is very dark, so quite dangerous. Yeah. So we have a, a, a question for Pearl. Hi all. Did the four seasons do much dancing? If so, were any movements in Jersey Boys based off their live performance? Well, no. So <laughs> as a <matter> of fact, <laughs> <laughs> They did snap, Sergio. They snapped. Well, well, that's a lot of that's even more choreography than actually did. So they they actually just stood and uh, and tapped their feet and uh, played the guitar. As a matter of fact, Bob Gaudio was you know very always very uncomfortable. So you know I took I took I took a lot of creative um, li liberties with with uh, with the show and um, you know with with Des Makinoff, the directors under his guidance. You know I was able to create vocabulary that you know felt organic that it felt appropriate for for the four for the four seasons because you know we didn't I didn't want them to end up looking like like the temptations um which you know I finally got a chance to to do 15 years later so <laughs> so no not at all so um but it was it was interesting that people would say after the show you guys dance just like the real four seasons and look just like right. like whatever whatever Sergio did was so uh, I guess, I guess we just fooled them into rewriting history. I guess because did you did you have that, uh, Jared? That people would say yeah. that uh, uh, totally. I mean, I think that part of it is people buy into what they're watching and they want to believe that the thing that they're seeing is uh, an authentic representation of the thing that they remember. And so there's you know there's a lot of um, projecting. And I think part of the genius of the choreography, forgive me, Sergio, is. Um, is how it fits into the time period. It feels so time period appropriate. It's like all the vocabulary of movements came from that era. So even if the seasons didn't do it, it feels like, oh, I know that feels like something I watched from that time. Also yeah, no, jazz splits. 
Yeah. And Jack, plus Jasper. Uh, plus Jasper. That's where I took more more of the liberties, you know. So, so uh, you know, with the jazz splits for, it's the James Brown splits actually for my Frankie Valley. So, yeah. Right. No, uh, I had a great time working on this show. We have a question from Janice Alduenda. How did you get inspired for the roles? Did you watch The Sopranos, Goodfellas? How, how about that, boys? Yes. Um, I, I actually found the closest link for me in film to Frankie was Michael Corleone. So I, I took a lot of, because especially because Michael ages quite a bit in the two Godfather films, so you can watch a relatively young man age um, physically, emotionally, and so I took, a, I stole as much as I could from Al Pacino. Um, but I definitely watched uh, The Sopranos and I have often based my Jersey accent on Chris uh, Maltesanti. Uh, I, 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 I didn't have the pressure on me that anyone who played Frankie did because no one really knew how Bob Gaudio looked or talked or anything like that. So I had a lot less pressure. Um, uh, and I just felt that I kind of knew these guys and and they were, you know, I grew up in New York City. So I had had a pretty good feeling about these guys. So I, I don't remember like, we're, we did a lot of table work. You know, when we, when we started that tour, Jared, do you remember we sat in that room for like- Hours. We, hours, I think it was almost a full week before we even took a step one foot on stage, the amount of research yep. that we did. Yeah. yeah. By, by the way, Eric Eric Bergen was the youngest Bob Gaudio that we've had, right? Danny, is that so? Absolutely. How old yeah, were you? He was what? 12, 13? When we I was twelve. I was twelve <laughs> when I started uh, Jersey Boys. Uh, that I was twenty. I was twenty years old when um, we were in in rehearsals in the in the fall of two thousand six. Holy crap! So yep, I remember your twenty first birthday it was New Year's Eve. That's right. <laughs> Here's a question from Ro Roger Rosenberg. How do you keep the choreography sharp once the show is underway and on the road? Danny Austin. Danny Austin. Mm -hmm. yep. um, well, first of all, a shout out to our, all of our dance captains because we have amazing dance captains in every company in the world. Um, um, but it is, it's, we, have, we rehearse, you know, we rehearse every week and we, you know, we go over the details of the steps. We talk about how you live in the steps more than anything. Um, uh, it's about how each of these characters, each of these guys live in their steps and their journey. Uh, but we rehearse them. Sturgis choreography is incredibly detailed. People wouldn't know it to see the show because it's fluid. But that where the hands are are so specific for Walk Like a Man, for example, and with the angle and where the, where the eye line is. So everything is so incredibly detailed. But you do the detail, you know, and then let them live like you guys did beautifully. Um, and the audience doesn't see that, you know, they just know that it's a really tight show, like the book, like the music, like the direction. And I, I also think that there's something to say for the fact that most of the, at least most of the guys who played the four seasons, but I think this is pretty true for all the cats that I was in. It wasn't a cast, it was never a cast full of a lot of dancers per se. It was yeah. mostly people that came from, in fact, there were a lot of people who weren't from the musical theater world. There was a lot of type straight actors, just, you know, kind of play actor people who were in the in bands on the side or played guitar. So it was really interesting because the, the choreography never felt like choreographed dancing. It felt, they still always felt like they were coming up the character because we didn't have a lot of dancer dancers. We became dancers, the Sergio Trujillo dances. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dance company. I'm so yes. glad. It was great to see all those guys dancing today again. It reminded me of you know how how fantastic is the show is, and uh, really a, a testament to our producers, uh, the Dodgers. Uh, you know they've really really continued to uh, make sure that our show stays at top quality. And and by the way, our show is not done. We're still we're still off Broadway. As soon as we're up and running, we're back we're back up on. At, uh, at New World stages, so I hope you guys can come see it again. We have a we have a question from Be uh, Becky Bigelson. Hope I said it correct. Is the audience res is the audience's response to the show the same around the world? Oh my God! Well, I I I haven't been as fortunate as Danny is, but I you know the places where I've seen where I've been with our companies rehearsing and then watching the audience's reaction. Yes, has been amazing. And 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 in Amsterdam, imagine. Uh, it was unbelievable to see just people, they, they all react at the same place, no matter what the yeah. language is. Same thing in, in England. As a matter of fact, I was in, in England doing another show and the Jersey Boys appeared on a TV show that we happened to be performing at. 
And when they announced that they were going to perform, the entire audience stood up. So they, they had mm-hmm. built quite, quite, the, uh, quite the cult. So, um, yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely been, a, been a, a, an absolute blessing. Um, so, boys, what, what's, next, what's next for you? Uh, Jared, well, what's, what's, what's happening, boys? <laughs> well, um, I'm growing this beard for my new role as a man of the woods. Um, a lot of fishing, a lot of uh, chopping down trees here in the middle of the woods in Connecticut. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting like everybody else for, um, you know, for Governor Cuomo and everybody else to tell us it's time to go back to work. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on hold for the Jared Spector story, which is a new, uh, it's a new jukebox musical that's trying out at Lohaya Playhouse, where I sing the songs of all the other jukebox musicals that Jared Spector has been in. <laughs> Um, are and, you playing my uh, father or like my? No, it's my, you. I'm doing. I'm doing the whole oh, thing on my you knees. You or me? Got yeah, it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So oh, I remember so, signing off on that, but I just, right. I, you know, it's been a while. Right. Yeah. So we, um, I have a question from Travis, and this is a this is a good question. With all the theaters being closed all over, all over, and stay at home happening pretty much everywhere, how have you guys been doing? <laughs> Have you been passing the time? Have you been passing the time? Okay. You know, I want to ask this to to Eric because I know you were you were one, you know, where you were at the forefront of getting some of some really important events happening online. And like I saw it and you did a fantastic job and I you, I know you were behind it. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's weird. I um I on the day I had just come back to New York from Los Angeles doing the whole pilot season thing, and I came back to L to New York and was just um I had a lot of concerts to set up for this year. And uh, I, the day that they announced Broadway was closing, I kind of thought immediately that the first thing I thought was like, the Actors Fund is gonna be inundated with requests for help, knowing that uh, Broadway was closing for a month and that people were gonna, people were check to check. Um, and so I called Rosie O'Donnell and I had this idea of like, what if we did brought back the Rosie O'Donnell show for one night, we can kind of do it as almost telethon style. And she, an hour later, she texted me back and said, if you put it together, I'll do it. And I was like, great, fantastic. And I no, I, I didn't think she was gonna say yes and I didn't know how to do it. So I started doing some research and I got together with um, uh, broadway.com and we were able to put on this um, thing for the, for the actor fund. We raised about $700,000 in one night where Rosie just kind of went through and talked to, you know, every, uh, it, it was supposed to be like five or six people and three and a half hours later, uh, we were still sitting there. Um, and then um, uh, that kind of turned into a couple of things. And we d- just did one called the Saturday Night Stater. So I, I, I now have a new career producing online uh, fundraising shows. I didn't see that one coming, but uh, I'm ready to get back to my real job when it opens. Well, <laughs> yes, we all are. As a matter of fact, you know, so for me, it's been, it's been, <clears throat> by the way, so, so Eric and I happen to be in New York City right now. Jared, you're in the country, but we're, so we're at the, at the epicenter and I can't, I can't deny that it's been, it's been uh, eerie at times. And, um, you know, as we, as we see our, our but, you know, the entire city has, has, stuck together and, and we're, we're, we're coming, we're going, we're getting through it. But uh, for me, it's been really interesting because <laughs> I, I actually, my husband, Jack, has been, he works at Broadway Cares Equity Fight States. He's one of the fundraisers and he's been in the trenches doing beautiful work for the Actors Fund and for Broadway Cares. Uh, but it falls on me to be the nanny. Uh, my, um, I have a two year old who decided to go through his terrible twos uh, on the day that this moment went down. <laughs> and I've been taking care of Lucas <laughs> And the other thing, which I won't wish upon anyone, is that I've had to cook every single meal, and I've yeah. never cooked in my life. So, <laughs> well, wait, Jared. Then you got to bring Jared. Jared's like cook master. Yeah, we do a lot of cooking here. That is how we pass our time mostly. There are five of us in the house, and three of us cook quite a bit. So we plan meals like nine or ten days at a time, so that we don't have to go to the, the grocery store too often. Because even in Canada, I mean, there's you know, it's still around, and everyone's still gloves and masks and being safe and trying to keep exposure down as much as possible. But we do, we, we talk about food and we cook most of the time. And plus uh, our buddy Nate um, catches like fish from the lake. And then we, like last night we fried it and made fish and chips. And it's, it's, it's been pretty fun. That's been the creative outlet here in the house mo- for okay. the most part. It's, it's so you're, rough, you're roughing it up. Living in the really world. roughing it. I don't. Okay. I, I mean, we're 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 not like buying lobsters. We're we're it's humble ingredients, but we're you know doing the most we can with that. 
And I, and Danny, Danny, I know you're you're in Edmonton, far away from all of us, where it's a little safer. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, there's a question on here. It says you touched on ages. Around what age did you know that you wanted to become as a professional dancer? And it's interesting. I'm I'm um, in Edmonton and with my mom. Um, and she's going to the hospital every day right now for treatments. And the staff there are just so incredible, and they get to know you personally. And and today I've met um, uh, I met two people in, in the last few days that their sons danced when they were young. I met a, a lady that danced with my, my very first dance teacher, Paulette Ronnie, when I was when I was uh, eight years old. Uh, so it's amazing that uh, I'm getting in touch with people in, in Edmonton that I haven't even seen for you know 35 years. So. It's, uh, it's good to be home. It's so here. I'm hoping that I can get on golf in a couple of weeks, please, as long as you stay safe. So let me let me turn to Lauren Avila. Uh, oh, her question. How do you feel about the choreography becoming as iconic, iconic as it has? Oh, my. Um, well, you know, I, I mean, I think I think Jersey Voice has become iconic. We we sort of were in the forefront of, of, of really um, – being the ones that uh, made the jukebox uh, recipe work, but I really call it biographical musical more than anything other than you know I, 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 I detest that term. Um, so I think I think it's uh, I think it's it's not that the choreography has become iconic. I think that the show has become iconic, and more than anything, the collaboration between Des Makinoff, Marshall Brickman, Rick Ellis, um, myself, and and the rest of the team. Um, you know, and, and Ron Melrose, by the way, who's uh, who's really the hero of all of this because he really has pulled this together in terms of music and, and, and brought it to life in a beautiful way. But uh, you know, it, I'm 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 proud that you know of this show. I'm proud of what it continues to do, and and I'm so you know I'm, I'm thrilled that you know that the choreography became what it has become. You know, and sometimes it's so simple. It is so simple, and sometimes the simplest things are. Are, are you know the things that that stick because the audience wants to be able to go home and do it so yeah, yeah. You know what's interesting is that Jersey Boys set a um, and, and really it, it only worked because of the brilliant connective tissue between all of its creators down to Steve Orich on or orchestrations and like you said Ron Melrose I mean there's so many people that came together to create the aesthetic that is Jersey Boys that it really invented a um, a, a, a style, I mean, there were so many knockoff groups. How many times people said, well, it's a Jersey boy style. All of a sudden, four guys in red jackets became like a, like a thing that on every, every cruise ship, there was a, a, a Jersey boys-esque show before Jersey boys itself actually got to the ships. There was, you know, it became like its own industry of Jersey mm -hmm. Boys esque entertainment and it became it just had such a a look and 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 vibe and even the logo. I mean it just it just became iconic and we didn't even know we were in it when we were in it. There's yeah it's simple it's the simple the simplest things you know sometimes to stick. By the way uh, Eric you got some you got some fans along here who are who are who are, who, are, who are saying hello to you that's my mom you from Madame <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> um, what, what, what is, what is your favorite songs? What is your of your favorite songs from the show? Oof. Oh, Dawn. Oh, Dawn is good. Began. Yeah, I think Began and Marianne Begin. are my faves. I, I hate both of those. You hate both of them. I couldn't stand them. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> you know, I think, I think, I think for me, it was my eyes adored you. Oh yeah, I yeah. adored you. Now, it's not a choreographic moment, but it was just—it was—it was beautifully staged. It's the the picture, my favorite moment. For those of you who uh, who haven't seen this show, you, I know you'll come to New York to see it very soon, um, or or when we do go back on the road, you'll go and see it wherever we are. But it is it's a beautiful moment. There is so much. There's simplicity. There is that tableau that this created that tells so much. Uh, so much of a story, and the song is has a beautiful, beautiful payoff. And you, I, Jared, you sang that song so beautifully. Can you sing a little I bit of it? Oh. My eyes adored you, though I never laid a hand on you. My eyes adored you. 
Yeah. What what are the rest of the words? I'm like a million miles away. I'm kidding. I adore you so close. So close and yet so far. Yes. Nice. I, 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 I used to weep at him doing that backstage. He's, I mean, <laughs> right before I went on, it was just the greatest sound in the world. Here, I'll give and I'll I'll give you this. Eric, you're too sweet. I cried for you. Oh, oh yes, please. Now cry for me. No, no, I don't love you any more. Cry for me. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Oh, come on. No, no, baby. There you go. There you go. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have to turn this still into a, another, another streaming episode with uh, hey. Where the boys will do their their favorite their favorite songs from Jersey Boys. By the way, if you're just turning in right now, I've already taught the class, so you missed it. But however, you can go back and watch it. Um, and then, and I hope you you actually got off the couch, and and you learned the choreography because uh, that took a lot. That took a lot for it me. It counts as your it counts as your steps for the day. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, thank you, uh, Stacy and Peters. Any chance you will all collaborate on a project in the future? <clears throat> I, I've been waiting for a call, for Joe and Danny. I don't know. Uh, yeah, to, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, these these are you know these two gentlemen are are you know very very talented actors, and I know I know I mean you're all I know that our, our paths will cross again, and I know we're going to work together again. It's just a matter of time and 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 the right and the right project, right? Well, you could listen. You gave us both our. our uh, our starts. I mean, this was this was our well. Jared had Star Search. I didn't have that, but I but I had you know, this was our this was our this is our beginning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was my like my restart as an adult. I made my Broadway debut when I was in Les Misérables, but I was nine. That doesn't really count. Okay. As like as like a person. Arlene, Arlene Avila is saying my Jersey Boy's heart is exploding. Oh, mine too. I, mean, I think it's exploding so much that I need to hear a little bit of, of uh, um, can't take my eyes off you. <clears throat> oh, goodness. I love you, baby. And if it's quite all right, I need you, baby. To on the lonely nights, I love you, baby. Trust in me when I say higher. Oh, pretty baby, the baby that I fell, pretty baby, now that I found you, stay and let me love you, baby, let me love you. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That was beautiful, Derek. No warm up or anything, and no beautiful. warning. Well, you've been, you've been, you know, you have that gift. So listen, um, gentlemen, Danny, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thank um, you. you know, it, it, uh, us. It's a, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's a way of, of giving back, uh, you know, and, and helping, you know, any way we can uh, to so in support of, of regional theaters like La Jolla Playhouse, who, you know, are, are going through such hard times and will continue to go through such hard times. And, you know, they've given all of us, you know, real opportunities to really, really work on our craft, create where work, you know, be able for you guys to be able to participate in, in, in some of these shows. To all of you that are that are watching and joining us, um, thank you so much for, for, for being part of this evening, for spending, you know, this time with us on a Friday night. I'm sure you guys, uh, you know, hopefully you had a, a cocktail by now or two. Um, <laughs> If you if you missed the the, the lesson, please um, please uh, uh, you know go and go back and, and watch it and then and then post it, send it to me on Instagram. I want to see how it, what it looks like. <laughs> uh, yeah. any, any closing remarks from you boys? Just want to thank La Jolla Playhouse. Thank you so much. It's been all over the beach. and it was great to see those boys all over the world. Huh? Yeah. yeah, our alumni from. From England, the Netherlands, uh, Australia, South Africa, and the tours, the and off Broadway, all of you and Norwegian. Again, if you if you care so, uh, uh, you'll see the information. Us again, 
We great night. Do not drink and drive. <laughs> Don't drive Where anywhere. Where are we going? We're gonna go. <laughs> Have a great time. Put on your put on your dancing shoes and dance. Oh, what a night! Thank you so much, everybody. Hey, boys. Hey, I'm Eric Bergen from New York, New York. My name's Grant Armoral, and I'm from South Africa. Hi, Stephen Ashfield. Hi, my name's Nicholas Dramar. Hey, I'm Ryan Gonzalez. Hi, my name is Aaron De Jesus. Hi, I'm Jonathan Cable. Hey guys, what's up? I'm CJ Polakowski. Hello, my name is John Rochette. Hey there, Michael Amenda coming to you from my patio here in Burbank, California. I uh, just want to say a huge thank you.